Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Got an interesting little experiment we're going to do today. Hopefully we don't destroy this because even though it's Cooler Master, it still works. And does a pretty decent job. Just not a big Cooler Master fan anymore. But that's neither here nor there. And I'm also going to hope like hell that this little experiment doesn't piss off my wife. So... We are going to, I got asked by a friend of mine not too long ago if, uh, because he lives up in the Northeast in a cold climate and it's getting, it's winter time. So he was asking me, cause he's got an AIO on his computer. He's like, well, you know what? My pellet stove likes to die, you know, likes to run out of pellets and shuts off. Okay. So he was wondering if his computer would be all right with the AIO in the computer with it off in freezing temperatures. He was asking me basically, will this freeze and be damaged? You know, with the liquid inside freeze and, you know, break this unit. So I am going to stick this in the freezer. Okay, this is just the beginning of the video. I'm gonna stick this in the freezer and then tomorrow we'll pick up for the last half of the video and find out if this will freeze. I think it won't. I think they've got some kind of, you know, additive in it, you know, because they've got anti-corrosives because, I mean, this is an aluminum radiator and it's got a copper cold plate. So they got, they got anti-corrosive chemicals put in here and probably a anti-growth chemical so that, you know, you don't get algae or, or any kind of other, you know, growth in it. Um, but I, th I think, you know, I think there's something to keep it from freezing. I mean, Technically speaking, they got to ship it from China over here to this country or Taiwan or wherever it's built. You know, it's got to be shipped from there to here. So I think Cooler Masters actually, their products are made in Taiwan. Yeah, just void warranty if removed. Void warranty when removed. Yeah, there's no indication. It's probably on the box. Uh, but either way, it, it's got to be they got to be able to ship it from there to here and there's got to be risks of you know it's sitting in a warehouse freezing cold warehouse and whether or not it's gonna freeze but I don't know so that's why we're gonna experiment so in a second you're gonna see me downstairs putting it in the freezer so that way you've got verification now nobody is sponsoring me to do this this is me just taking it upon myself take what I already have and experiment okay this is just to get views, get subscribers, and grow my channel. And it seems like something kind of cool to do. And I want to see if it's going to end up, you know, breaking it. <laughs> so, all right. With that being said, next stop, freezer. Okay, guys, like I told you, down here at the freezer, getting ready to stick this in the bottom of the freezer. I figure that probably going to be the coldest part. And I'm going to try to stick this in in such a way that uh, the air stays out of the pump and in the radiator, because there is a little bit of air in there. I don't know if you can, if you can hear that. So, I'm gonna try to stick it in like this, and hope like hell this doesn't cause a divorce. All right, on its side. There, in the freezer. So it is about quarter after one on a Saturday. So I'll come back tomorrow, quarter after one, check on it. Okay guys, next day, let's pull this thing out of the freezer. Well, I'm not seeing any evidence of liquid from the AIO. And if there was, it'd be Whew, this thing's cold. Mm, nothing seems saturated with water. I see yesterday. Let's see if I can keep from. Okay, yesterday I indicated there was a little bit of slosh in the radiator. Let's see if there's slosh now. There's absolutely no slosh. Yeah, let's get this thing upstairs, take a closer look at it. Well, 
it's been a few minutes to get up here with the camera and everything but as you can see she's frosting up just from being outside of the freezer I took it out a little early it's actually about uh, 11 22 in the morning but uh, yeah she frosted up as soon as I pulled her out of the freezer radiator frosted and so is the cold plate and a little bit of the plastic on the back of the pump so let's take a little further examination we did not get any exposed water out of the radiator so it did not explode I wouldn't exactly uh, plug this in and see if it works because well oh hey we have oh -ho -ho. okay so about between five and ten minutes out of the freezer it not as sloshy as it was before all right okay I don't know if you can hear that but it's like it sounds like slush in there it's not as sloshy as it was before but when I was downstairs you guys heard it I I went and did this and there was nothing okay so it doesn't take long to to thaw all right so since we're getting some thawage okay so this sloshing there huh all right, I'm not going to put it on my system and risk damaging my system, but I have a power supply. I'll have to get all the materials around uh, to uh, see about plugging this sucker in. All right, here goes nothing. I got it wired into power supply. We still got... Yep, we got even more sloshing now. that close that close that let me shut down this system so it quiets down so I can actually hear what this pump's gonna do there we go now we got even more quiet in here all right let's hear nope Nope, pump is still froze solid. That's what I should have heard. All right, the radiator's thawed. Let me just make sure that we've got Just make sure we've got active uh, power. I'm pretty sure we do. Yep. We may, in fact, have actually killed the pump with trying to fire this thing up. But it is currently froze solid it's not there's no noise coming out of the pump at all normally you'd hear like a like a little gurgling noise but I'm not hearing that at all yeah it's trying to fire up but it's it's frozen yep there's like a little weird noise coming from the pump so yeah pumps froze but 
after just a short amount of time, the radiator, but after just a short time out of the freezer, the radiator is thawed. The pump is not. So, yeah, I don't even think. It's got to be the fact that this is aluminum and this is copper. That's got to be what it is. I wish I had my test bench built so I could put this on the test bench to see what would happen. But... I just went through everything to get that cooler installed, so... Yeah. And that is quite cold on that cold plate. So... Yeah, I can now feel the pump. It's trying. Yeah, I don't dare leave it going for too long because I don't want that pump to completely die. So, there you have it, folks. After about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes outside the, actually, it was only about five minutes. After about five minutes, all of this, Quite a bit more sloshing. Yeah, there's quite a bit more sloshing in there than there was. There was no indication that there was any leakage. A lot of condensation, but it's to be expected. But yeah, there was no indication of any leakage. So it didn't explode. She did freeze solid enough to where even after the radiator thaws, the pump is still frozen. So there you go, folks. If you got an AIO and you live in a cold climate, uh, take precautions. I know this is only one AIO. Some others may not suffer from this, but this being a cheap AIO, if you decide to go cheap, be warned. This could end up happening if you let it sit in a freezing cold environment. So... If uh, you want to see me test any other AIOs in the future, well, subscribe to the channel so I can grow, so I can get uh, funding. Uh, but, uh, yeah, other than that, like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. Ring that bell to get notified of future videos. And I will see you in the next one. Hey, guys. I know the video is over, um, but I was uploading... Uh, the video footage from the camera into the computer <clears throat> and I thought it's been about five minutes I thought what the hell I'm gonna try to see if the pump will fire up and I figured this is important enough information that I needed to throw this into the video after everything was all said and done but uh, I don't know if you can hear that but that is the pump running so after about 20 minutes outside of the freezer, it is thawed enough. So, yes, it will freeze solid. It will freeze. It will, you know, uh, just after about 5-10 minutes, the radiator may thaw out, but the pump may not be. And if you turn your system on and, you know, you don't hear the pump circulating water, turn it off immediately because you can damage your pump. Okay? I don't know if you, I don't know if it will or not, but there is always that risk. So, you know, it, it, at the very least, you shorten the life expectancy. So, but, uh, yeah, after about 20 minutes, you can give it a try. And if you hear the pump running, you're good to go.